let's spend just a couple minutes here talking about some of the standards that you may see out there and have to be compliant with either as a consumer of cloud or enterprise technology or as a provider of that technology. So we have things like SOC, FISMA, low, moderate, and high, FedRAMP, SARBs, HIPAA, ICD-503, DICAP, all of these terms, DITSCAP, all these terms you're going to hear out in the industry. Many of them have their genealogy dating back to the FISMA Act of 2002 so all many of them spawn from that era and they're all built almost all of them and they're aligning even closer in 2013 to NIST 800-53-137 FIPS 140-2 and other standards that um, make up this FISMA Act and these certifications and so you have DOD 8500, of course, ICD 503, and agency-focused security controls as well. But you put all of these controls together, these NIST controls, then you add on the specific for the agency, DOD, ICD, or other types. Higher education may have some specific focus on their controls, and that's how you get an authority to operate or an ATO. So all of these standards that you hear floating out there, many of them are founded in the FISMA Act. So FedRAMP is just another one uh, that's a collection of these controls listed down below, a collection of these security controls that may most likely include the NIST series. Some may have DOD 8500, ICD 503, and agency-focused security controls all of which contribute and provide the ATO.